it looks like any other suburban home. But if disaster strikes, Jay Blevins has what he needs to transform his house into a bunker. Um, we've pre-cut boards that we could put over the windows in the event that there are looters and things like that to protect the house. Jay and his family are what's known as preppers, people who make it a priority to be ready for the worst, from catastrophic floods to terrorist attacks. For protection, an array of firearms, including revolvers and semi-automatics. And down in the basement, enough food to survive for months. For Jay's wife, Holly, the prepper mindset is something she takes everywhere, even shopping. Just on a regular basis, if I'm at the grocery store and I happen to see that gallons of water are on sale for 59 cents, I'll buy six gallons of water. Just, you know, so I, it's always in my mind. It's always in the back of my mind. In the U.S., large-scale catastrophes like 9-11 or Superstorm Sandy have boosted interest in preparedness training. It's going to go right on your shoulder, and this is how you would... Patrick Troy is a former soldier who teaches survival skills to his friends and neighbors. He says a prepper attitude doesn't come easily. For the most part, we don't want to think about these things. We don't want to say, gosh, tomorrow, you know, I might not be able to go to the grocery store and buy milk or something. Um, but then an event happens and we're forced to deal with this reality that our supply chain is actually fragile. But being ready for the worst doesn't mean living in fear. And Jay takes care not to let his philosophy interfere with his family's everyday life. There is a fine line, I think, between preparation and paranoia. I don't want to go over that line. We have a normal family life. Our kids play soccer and football, and we go on vacations to Disney and things like that. And then we have this thing on the side, just like insurance. If we ever need it, we'll use it. Now, others can use it, too. Jay has published a book on preparedness. It claims to contain everything you need to survive the end of the world.